We've talked about what you put in your body, right? But do you ever think about what you breathe in? From elite athletes to cutting edge clinics, a new form of hydrogen therapy is turning heads and changing lives. We checked one out for ourselves in sunny Boca Raton, Florida. When it comes to hydrogen inhalation, this is a growing area of research in many of the clinical studies. Hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe, and it could have some impact on your health. We're seeing some profound effects in the areas of neurological conditions, cancer, metabolic health, cardiovascular areas, exercise performance, wellness in general. All of these areas have been studied with molecular hydrogen, and mechanistically, it makes sense that hydrogen could have these, these effects. The key, a device that mimics how clinical trials deliver hydrogen gas. Precise, therapeutic, and safe. No combustion, no guesswork. Each breath is optimized. What really sets this machine apart is just the fact that you can ensure you're getting a therapeutic dose or concentration of hydrogen with every breath, and it's non-flammable. In this way, you can enjoy the benefits of molecular hydrogen just like we do in the clinical studies. It has the possibility of radically revolutionize medical care and health care. Joining me now is Dr. Tyler LeBaron and Alex Tarnava, who many of you know from his pioneering work with the hydrogen water. He's now back with something totally new, which is hydrogen inhalation therapy. Gentlemen, how is this different than the water? Basically, it's just a different route of administration. I'll let Tyler talk a little bit is more it, about is, that. Are you getting more? I mean, you're, first you're getting much more to the brain, more quickly anyway. Yeah. When you inhale the hydrogen gas, it immediately goes into the lungs and it diffuses into the bloodstream. It doesn't get carried by like hemoglobin like oxygen does. Yeah. And that's going to carry the hydrogen gas everywhere. The, it's going to just follow blood. It's going to go everywhere. The brain, everywhere into your body. How long do you use it for? You know, in the clinical studies, we a minimum is around 20, 30 minutes or so. But as far as 18 hours, and some of the studies like with post-cardiac arrest syndrome, it's, you know, it's a long time. But we don't know what the optimal dose is, but as little as 30 minutes to a couple hours. So you've caught my interest here. Post-cardiac arrest, you mean hypoxic brain injury? Yeah, so after somebody has like a cardiac arrest. Right, you get or, no oxygen yeah, to your yeah, brain. Yeah, cerebral infarction or something, yes. They're using H2 for that. Yeah, yeah. in oh fact, that gosh. was the earliest study was done in, in animals in 2007, published in Nature Medicine, and it was, it was this uh, stroke model. And when they administered hydrogen gas, the hydrogen gas essentially prevented the brain damage from the stroke. And, and even though we don't know the optimum dosage range or duration of exposure, no downside. When we look at the research on when people who produce the most hydrogen gas, they tend to have lower risks of various diseases, like even say Parkinson's disease. Yeah. People who have the more hydrogen producing bacteria, they have a lower risk of Parkinson's disease than people who don't have that. And then there's interesting observational research such as on uh, centenarians out of Okinawa that found that these people who are over 100 years old had higher levels of breath hydrogen than the average young person, even their descendants. Well, of course, correlation is not causation. Yes, yes. But this is an important correlation. So but that, how do people get this device? So we're in that pre-launch right now. Uh -huh. This was seven years of R&D. We designed this to overcome the issues of other hydrogen inhalation commercial machines on the mm. market. So after seven years of R&D, we're hitting the market. We're gonna be hitting the market by about October right now. Mm. We're taking pre-sales. And when we launch, we'll be in various clinics all across the country. Got it. Well, congratulations. Uh, as, as you see, the science is fascinating. And this is sort of the new frontier in longevity, as far as I'm concerned, and maybe health overall. So thank you. Thank you for that. To find out more, visit inhaleh2.com. Inhaleh2.com. And we'll be right back. <laughs>